Welcome to this Tech Talk Live today on warm water underfloor heating. It's going to be carried out in conjunction with our industrial associate Polypipe Building Products. So thanks Andy for inviting the CIPHE to this development centre here at Polypipe. No problem at all, thanks for coming. Do you want to give us a, a little summary on what we're going to be talking about today? Certainly, I'm going to talk you through a, a brief introduction to water-based underfloor heating. Uh, Polypipe we noticed a growing demand for this type of house heating, uh, especially over the rivals such as electric. Uh, we used our decades of experience of plastic plumbing and transferred this into underfloor heating. Excellent. You know, there's a little misconception out there in the market about underfloor heating. You get two different types, main types. One being warm water, underfloor heating, which is what Polypipe do, and the other one is electric. Can you give us your view on the differences? Of course, yeah. I mean, a lot of the negative connotations for underfloor heating are derived from electric, bad experiences in the past. Uh, electric, as most people will be aware, is, does have traditionally high running costs, whereas wet-based system gently circulates warm water throughout the floor in a much more efficient way. Okay. The CIPHE has noticed quite a huge sort of drive towards underfloor heating in, in properties from the consumer. Uh, what's your view? I mean, are you finding the consumers a lot more aware about underfloor heating now, warm water? Certainly a lot more people are asking for it. I think especially when they realise that they don't have to dig up the floors anymore, it's a more efficient way of heating the home, and also they may not have to change the boiler as well. Okay, yeah. So do you want to tell us a little bit more about the systems that Polypipe offer them, these different types? Okay, sure, yeah. So we do have a lot of systems, which may at first seem confusing, but once you understand what they are, it, what it does mean is it's got a lot of flexibility. So you can use it in all different kinds of floor constructions. Okay. So one of the most common system that we use, or the installers use, are solid floor systems. So what, what are the main systems that you have? We personally have three systems. We have our red floor plate, we also have our staple system and clip rail system. Uh, many benefits to be had with the red floor plate. As you can see, we're stood comfortably on this now, uh, without risk of any damage to the pipe on site but also you can see the perfect straight lines which are very important for the efficient transfer of the heat. So we've covered solid floors. Tell us a little bit about retrofit applications. So for example, I'm a homeowner. I really like the idea of underfloor heating, but as you said before, I can't dig up the floors. What options do you have there available? Absolutely, that's where our overlay system comes in. So it's an 18 mil high board, which is very low profile and is designed to perfectly fit over an existing floor. Very easy, minimal disruption. Okay. So Andy, let's touch on the minimum disruption that you talk about. Have you got any features and benefits that back this up? Certainly. The main feature and benefit is how easy it is to install. So the boards are laid on the floor, the pipe is pushed in, very easily placed, and then covered over. Excellent. So Andy, we've covered screed systems, so that's your red plates, your staples, and your clip rails. We've also covered floating floors, so that could be for a, a retrofit application, so that's your overlay system. Mm -hmm. What about suspended floors? Absolutely, so again we have various options for a suspended floor and what that means is it opens up on the floor to an upstairs say or an older property with a suspended wooden floor. Okay, so really it is actually a whole house solution. Absolutely, long gone are the days where underfloor was a ground floor only option, you can have mm. your whole house heated the same. Really it's just go to a reputable uh, manufacturer who will guide you on what system you need to fit the right application. Absolutely. So we've spoke quite a lot about the actual um, underfloor heating fixing systems and the applications. One thing that I'm sure you'll agree here is it's just as important to how you control an underfloor heating system. Yeah. Do you want to tell us a little bit about your control systems? Absolutely. So at Polypipe we do a full range of control all the way from a, a basic dial thermostat all the way up to our new Smart Plus controls where we've added functionality such as internet controls. So, internet controls, that is quite handy and quite convenient to the consumer. They have their smartphone, iPad, they can be in control of that. Absolutely, I mean, it may sound like a bit of a gimmick but actually there are a lot of uses for it. For example, when you're going on holiday, you forgot to turn your heating down or you come home from work unexpectedly early. So one of the critical things that again needs to be understood is the type of floor covering, the output, the effect on the output. So do you want to tell us a little bit about that? Traditionally most people thought underfloor was only suitable for tiles. We obviously know that's not 100% true. 
suitable for most floor coverings. However, there are things to be careful of. Like you say, floor coverings can be difficult in terms of carpet, is one to be very careful with. And mainly the thing to look at is the tog rating of the carpet and the underlay as well. Because any restriction of stopping that heat pass through will reduce the heat output. Okay. Also things like wood. If you're going to be a solid wood, you've got to be very careful with the moisture content, for example. And it is always best to check, them, check with the manufacturer. Okay. So Andy, it's been excellent today having a good look around this really professional uh, training academy you've got here, or training centre. Education is at the core of the CIPHE. So what's your thought on uh, the need for training in the underfloor heating industry? What Absolutely, we share your view, it's the centre of what we do. Uh, there's nothing worse than inadequate installers going out there, putting product in incorrectly. So we based all our th everything we've done around this, this professional development centre okay. where we offer installers a two-day hands-on training course uh, to go out there with full confidence to install yeah. our systems. I mean, I'll be honest, I'm extremely impressed with, with the bays that you've got here, uh, all these the, the different systems they get hands-on with, with, the, with the pipe work, fitting the different systems. You also touch on, on design, which is critical that the installer understands design, not just how to install it, but understand a little bit of the theory of why you do things. Absolutely. We yeah. want the installers to know all about the design process, but obviously we're there behind the scenes doing the designs for them as well where required. Yeah. So you're holding their hand as exactly. such, which, yeah. yeah, excellent. Well, thank you very much. Thank you, Paul. The CIPH would like to thank Andy Coy today of Polypipe Building Products for showing us around this excellent professional development centre up here in Doncaster. Education is at the core of the CIPHE. So having facilities available to the installer such as these will inevitably benefit the consumer.